What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're going to be going over three trade ideas for DeMarcus Cousins. So before I start, if you want to see more NBA content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I post daily. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So trade rumors have surrounded DeMarcus Cousins ever since the start of this season. And it seems like a few teams are going to make a big push to get him. With Cousins averaging over 26 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists to go along with 1.5 blocks and steals per game, he could push a playoff contender or a top team over the top. Cousins has made no guarantee to the Pelicans that he will stay after this season, so New Orleans may try to trade him instead of letting him walk for nothing. So with that being said, let's take a look at a few trades the Pelicans can make for DeMarcus Cousins. So for my first trade idea, the Cavs trade Tristan Thompson, Jetty Osmond, and Zazik to go along with the Nets 2018 first round pick to the Pelicans while the Pelicans send Cousins to Cleveland. So the main goal of this deal for the Pelicans is to get the Nets 2018 first round pick which has a very high chance of being a top 10 pick and they also get two solid young players in Jetty Osmond and Zazik and both guys can definitely be rotational players. Thompson may also benefit from a change in scenery as he has struggled all season in Cleveland. With this move, the Cavs are going all in this season. Cousins gives the Cavs a guy who can score easily in the paint and also hit the outside shot. He is also a solid rim protector and he can also play make on offense as we see with his 5 assists per game. Not to mention adding Cousins to the Cavs will also shift Kevin Love back to his natural 4 position and a starting front court of LeBron James, Kevin Love and DeMarcus Cousins is easily the best front court in the league at least on paper. I know it's early but Cousins would give the Warriors problems on defense as no one on that team could stop him, as Golden State has a very weak center position. I mean, I can't see Zaza Pachulia, Jordan Bell, or JaVale McGee being able to guard him at all. And while Draymond Green is a terrific defender, I do not think he will be able to guard Cousins in a 7 game series, as simply Cousins is just bigger and stronger than Draymond Green. So for my second trade, the Pelicans send DeMarcus Cousins and Ian Clark to the Lakers in exchange for Jordan Clarkson. Julius Randle and Zubak. While I do think this trade favors the Lakers, the Pelicans would still be getting solid assets. Jordan Clarkson could start or come off the bench as a great scoring guard, and Julius Randle could shift into Cousins' old role, and he would get a ton of minutes playing next to Davis and both guys are still very young. Also, Zubak is a young guy the Pelicans could develop as well. On the other hand, the Lakers do this trade to give Cousins an insight on their plans and to see his fit in LA. If Cousins is with the Lakers, this may also entice LeBron James or Paul George to join him next offseason. Cousins would also currently give the Lakers a go-to score and he could help them win some games. But having Cousins going into the offseason is the most important factor for the Lakers to do this trade as he could also pitch to other top free agents to join him. Also Ian Clark could replace some of Jordan Clarkson's production and I think overall he would be a solid fit in LA. So for my third trade I have the Pelicans sending DeMarcus Cousins and Darius Miller to the Boston Celtics while the Celtics send Marcus Morris, Marcus Smart, Aaron Baines, and Yabusuli, sorry if I butchered that name, to go along with a first round pick to the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans do this trade to receive two young players in Smart and Yabusuli, as well as a future first round pick in 2019 from the Los Angeles Clippers, which could be a great pick if LA decides to trade DeAndre Jordan and rebuild. If you guys didn't know, the Celtics still have a ton of first round picks, including their own, the Clippers, and the Grizzlies, so they're really stacked. But I do not think they would give up the Lakers pick in this trade. For the Pelicans, Morris could also be a trade asset and he could also net them a first round pick from a playoff team looking for another wing. The Celtics do this deal to get DeMarcus Cousins obviously and he would give the Celtics a dominant front court. He would shift Al Horford to power forward and those two would become a great two man duo up front. Adding DeMarcus Cousins would also give the Boston Celtics another top scorer on the team besides Kyrie Irving. But for the record, I do think Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown could both become 20 point per game scores, but both of those guys still need to develop as they are still very young. I honestly believe if the Celtics add to Marcus Cousins, they would definitely give the Cavs a run for their money, and who knows, they might have a chance to beat the Cavs in the playoffs, but I still wouldn't say that's very likely. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and as I said before, I'll be putting out a ton of great NBA content daily, so be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on your thoughts on my trades and also let me know where you think the Marcus Cousins will be going at the trade deadline. Do you think he's going to be traded? Do you think he's going to stay? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.